Hello everyone and welcome to the Chaos Rift, uh, Dragon's Dogma. As you can see, right now I'm exchanging my pawns. I'm level 21, they're level 14. There's a big disparity on levels here. Time to refresh. Uh, the pawn system actually is rather basic looking at, at the surface, but it's complicated. My pawn right now is a magic caster. They have some good magical offense, but they also help you defeat monsters and right here the higher the more stars you get next to your monster name the better and more proficient they are at exploiting the weaknesses of the monsters at first encounters they suck um, quests also is the you finish quests with your pawns they learn them this is important especially for helping other people their their knowledge of the areas the travels everything your pawn's knowledge is beneficial to you and other people to who rent your pawns. Treat your pawns well. And treat other people's pawns well. So into the rift. It's a swirly little mass of fog. And at first, a bunch of random pawns will come up to you. Also, your currently hired pawns will also hang out here. Get rid of them by walking up is everything in and selecting order? release. This is the nice way to get rid of your pawns. And you can send a gift back to the pawn's creator. Please send something nice, not a rotting piece of fish. And yes, you can send rotting fish. Don't do that. It's just a dick move. I'd hope to serve you Boom! Adequately. Now your pawn is officially fired. May our paths cross again. Whatever you do, though, do not fire your pawn this way. No matter how annoying they are, don't do this. Not cool. Please help me. Back to the rift. Um, you can search for your pawns by level, favorites, friends, past summons, people who hired your pawn. This way you can really, like, trade favors pawns and level up each other's pawn. I choose I usually just go by level. And I like a fighter and a sorcerer in my collection. The reason why I'm selecting one at a time, and yes, I travel with the harem. Um, the reason why I select one type is so I can go and get a good selection of fighter first. I can find the best of the best. The cream of the crop per se. You can either choose by name or really go into primary and secondary skills. This is actually the important part. Some people don't really level up their pawns, like this guy right here. He, he's got three spaces, nothing in secondary, but full primary skills. Try to find a pawn with a full repertoire of six skills to use. The other part is not all of them have the best equipment or weapons. So what you do is you go and you talk to your your hires here, like this girl. And you go into their offensive status, as you can see, strength of 275. For the level that I'm looking for, there, this one actually had the best. And, it, and if you want to get really picky, you can walk up to them all, dismiss them with the right mouse button, and start your search again. And now looking for mages, you want somebody with magic. Magical ability is uh, for sorcerers more important than strength. So right now I'm not being picky on their spells. I'm just fighting in the overworld. If you go to Bitterbeck Island, you're going to want to more specialize mage because the resistances and weaknesses of the monsters are different there. Yes, Arisen. This one has 371 magic. Yes, Boom, reason. higher. I am in an effort to keep this guide as short as possible, I didn't go very comprehensive or in-depth in the pawn system. I do apologize for that, but I do hope that you were able to learn something from this guide. I do appreciate your viewership, and I thank you very much for watching. Till then, bye!